right, is this thing on? All right. Hey everybody, what's going on? Vic Showman here. So, in this video, I'm hoping this video is going to be a little bit more of a, a chill video, I hope. But, uh, for this video, we're going to be going through my my vault. I'm going to be, going to be taking you guys through a vault tour of um, the things I've collected from the past... Uh, the, uh, the, the three years of this game's lifespan. I think I, I've been playing this game since, let's see, I think December of 2014. I'm pretty sure that I, I played the demo back in the vanilla. So, I mean, I've been at it for a while. Hopefully I've got, um, got some things, uh, you know, interesting things, hopefully built up. I mean, collected over the, you know, the three years of this, uh, of, uh, this game's lifespan. I mean, before Destiny 2 came out, obviously. Um, now I'm gonna, I understand this is gonna be a lot of stuff, so, uh, I'm gonna try to hopefully, try to not make it, uh, too long, not to drag it on for too long, so a lot of the newer weapons that a lot of you guys probably already know of, I'll probably skip over relatively quickly, and then I'll also actually go, go on my Guardians inventories, I'll check out my Warlock and my Titan as well, and see if they have anything interesting, because, to be completely honest, it's been a while since I've played those other two characters, and I have no clue what they have on them, so maybe we'll find something interesting, so, to be honest, this will be just as new to me as it will for probably a lot of you guys, because I forgot of a lot of the stuff that I've had hoarded up over the years, and actually, I am a hoarder in this game, uh, my vault's almost completely full, and the inventory on, like, my characters are all, like, almost completely full, it's ridiculous, I hoard everything, and it's really hard for me to dismantle things, and also, one thing I'd like to say is that, keep in mind, as I was going through this game, even though, I mean, I've been at it for a while, um, uh, obviously, back in the day, I didn't know what guns I was going to want in the future, right? So there was a lot of guns that I probably had in the past that I actually ended up dismantling because I just didn't know better back then, but I regret now. So there probably was a lot of guns that I would have loved to have, but I just got rid of because I just didn't know better at the time, which sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, so enough of me blabbering. Here we are in the beautiful tower. Oh my gosh, look at that skybox. Bungie always doing a great job with those. Um... <clears throat> I guess let's start off by looking at my hunter's inventory. Oh my gosh, dude, I love everything about this. So, to start off, we got the Finalis Pearl. Great hand cannon, absolutely love it. And then down the line, we have the Water Star. This was in the same set of weapons as the Doctrine of Passing, I'm pretty sure. This was the, uh, the hand cannon of the Year 2, um, go for going flawless in... Year 2, uh, Trials of Osiris, I'm pretty sure. I think it was Year 2. It's an alright hand cannon. I think this archetype is a lot better in Destiny 2. It's alright in D1. Then we got the last word, Outbreak Prime. Love this gun, love this gun. No and Beyond, please bring it back. And then we have the Fatebringer Adept. Alright, I've just got to take a look at this thing for a second. I absolutely love this gun. I actually, sadly, was not lucky enough to get a legendary version of it. Still have to this day. But I've gotten, like, two of these things. And they're absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And also, just in case you're curious, here's the, the Water Star. Good-looking gun. Got a decent roll. It's got range finder on it and reinforced barrel. So, good bump in, in uh, range right there. I don't know why I'm not using... This sure shot but oh, it's whatever guess I'm going for stability then we got doctrine of passing a lot of you guys may remember the doctrine of passing meta absolutely insane meta that thing was like a freaking machine gun everywhere it went then we got the hawk moon bungee please bring it back please I love the hawk moon I know a lot of us were wondering that the eyes of the not the eyes of Luna the awe stringer looked like it was gonna be maybe like a hawk moon ornament or something and then it wasn't but i mean the eyes Luna is an amazing weapon it's a d2 the eyes of luna the awestringer is an amazing weapon it's a basically a d2 eyes luna so i still love it but there you guys have it, the hawk moon then we have a weapon that i haven't used too much of but i've got a pretty good roll on it at least i like to think so counterbalance feeding frenzy the kau 8 constellation scar a gun that Honestly, I I, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. I got it somewhere. I might have gotten it on one of my other characters when I was starting them up. I got it somewhere. It's a it's an old weapon. I think it's a year one weapon. As you can tell, 160 attack, no symbol up in the corner. So I'm pretty sure this is a old weapon. Um, then we've got uh, this is when reforging. Reforging is around, so you can reforge certain weapons. So I kind of tweaked with it. Not a fan of any of the scopes, but we've got feeding frenzy, high caliber rounds, and counterbalance. Great gun, by the way. 
Let's see. I uh, jeez, this is gonna take a while, so I gotta go. Gotta hurry up a little bit here. Matador 64. You guys know it. You guys love it. Maybe it can be annoying, but it's a good gun. There we got the Saladin's visual. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This thing go oh good. So good. Nice. Icebreaker. I want to say Bungie, please bring it back. I absolutely love this gun, but at the same time, that would really screw up the uh, special ammo economy, and this thing would be all over the place in the Crucible. So, love to have it back, but uh, would it be better for the game? I don't know. Then you got the Winged Word, which is the Year 3 uh, Trial Sniper, along with the Hereafter, a gun that I'm talking super fast. A gun that... Honestly, has never gotten enough love. It's always been kind of a quirky weapon here. You get a precision shot, they get blinded. It's a really cool, really cool idea behind it, but it was never too great. It was all right. Then you got my Herb Benevolence. Great sniper. I like to use this when I'm rocking Last Word or if I'm doing private matches. Great gun. Um, Outlaw, Replenish, Quick Draw. And not a, an amazing roll, but um, I like Replenish on it because I can just pop my super. And if there's like, oh, if the rule's no super in private matches, I'll just pop it and like waste my golden gun. And I got a full magazine just just like that. So it's really nice for private matches. And this Outlaw and Quick Draw make it feel super snappy. And then obviously Short Gaze cause, and Ambush because, you know, they're both amazing. So there you guys have it. Plan C, you got to love it. Then we got the Soros JLB-47. This was uh, the one of the gunsmith weapons. Yeah, one of the gunsmith weapons. Um, really good gun. I remember you get it from the packages, I believe, and like he'd have different rolls every week. Really good roll, I think. Heavy payload and grenades and horseshoes. And javelin! Heavy payload and javelin! Like, that's so good! And aggressive launch. So I think this is a really sick roll. Doesn't have tracking. But at tracking, wait, I don't even know you can get tracking and grenades and horse loot, horse shoes on legendaries in this game. Obviously, truth has it, but great gun. Down the line, we got <laughs> the un Unending Dulge 3. Interesting names, man. Decent roll there. Just another gun, I guess. Truth, good gun. Chaotic Neutral, good gun. K uh, sleeper Simulant, you guys know it. You guys love it. It's a good gun. I'm going to say that about a lot of these guns. Um, Hez and Vengeance. This is from the... Bruh, this is the newer one from when they brought it back from the raid. It's a good gun. <laughs> I've really got to think of other things to say, man. Sound and Fury. This is a gun that I honestly haven't used too much of, but I've always been interested within the perk the increases real speed when mag is empty and reeling this weapon when the mag is empty grants a larger than normal magazine. Really good... Um, What's it called? They, they complement each other very well there. Then the If Materia. This thing is insane. I haven't really used it too much in PvE, but what I do know, like, for boss melting, this thing's crazy. Triple tap and two times the charm. What's it called? Double tap? Probably double tap. I forgot what it's called. Let's see. This is going to bother me. Triple tap, triple double. Triple double? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Stupid me. Um, good gun and Iron Gallahorn, freaking duh. Um, that's the inventory. All right, hopefully, hopefully I didn't spend too long talking about that. Let's head into the vault. All right, let's let's uh, let's head right into the vault. Right off the bat, we got the. Did I fix it? I think I fixed it. That was terrifying me. How long has that been going on? I hope that has been going on for a while. I literally just now noticed it shows how much I pay attention. Thank goodness I noticed it now. If it was like that for the whole, I don't, I swear, I've never seen that happen before. I had to like unplug a couple things, but we're good. Hopefully I'm gonna keep an eye on it now. You better not do that again. <sighs> Great, more things just make this video longer than it needs to be. Anyway, <laughs> Bully and Gemini. Oh, I was talking about the fate of all fools. Yes, um, it ended up turning into the Jade Rabbit. Little disappointed about that, not gonna lie, because I, 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 in the perk on the Jade Rabbit, it's called the Fate of All Fools. So you know that gun's never coming back. But there was one guy, one dude in all of Destiny who has the Fate of All Fools. Not the Jade Rabbit, the Fate of All Fools. One person has that gun, and it's just insane. And I, oh my gosh, it's just so crazy to think about. I would go into the backstory, but... It's, I don't know, it's a little sad, and I just kind of, I, I don't really feel like touching on it. Also, this is about the guns, but, uh, no time to explain. 
Uh, this is the exotic version of the Fate of All Fools. Rewind again, precision hits are immediately returned to the magazine. Always kind of wonder if this gun would be brought back to D2. I feel like it would fit really well within the within the meta, especially for, I feel like it'd be uh, really good in like strikes, for example. And uh, it probably would be a pretty decent DPS weapon, maybe, I would assume. Uh, really cool gun. Um, I honestly wouldn't mind seeing it come back. Then we've got... I've really got to hurry up. Uh, then we've got Thorn. This is my OG Thorn. All the way back in the day. OG 170 light. This thing, this was the two tapping beast right here. The two tapping beast. This thing was so good. It was so good. <laughs> but I wasn't good enough back then to really take full advantage of it. But it was really good. The Waylorn's March. Uh, one of the Iron Banner guns from a while back. It's all right. Not bad. Um... Nerwin's Mercy, this thing had its time. Really good gun. Now, in terms of the meta, it's alright, but it used to melt. Murmur, the gun that everyone forgot about. <laughs> Conspiracy Theory D, still a good gun, holds up. Call of Ants is duty. Um, I think an older scout rifle from Iron Banner. It was a good gun. I think it hit like a truck, if I remember correctly. Decent. Uh, then we got a Payback SO... The Payback SOS. So funny, I happened to stumble upon this. This gun, fun fact, my very first n n legendary gun, my very first legendary gun of all time, all time was this baby, the Payback SOS. You never hear anybody talking about it. It is the Doctrine of Passing archetype, really fast archetype. I got spray and play, crowd control, perfect balance, decent roll, not great, but it's got a good scope. It's an all right gun. Uh, subject um so yeah very i i never understood the is that like morse code or something never understood maybe it's like sos and morse code that's my guess i never understood what that meant um first legendary gun haven't used it for a while maybe i should give it some more love oh uh, the reflection some this thing was pretty good head uh head seeker i believe that's called soul stealer's claw also really gone this was my uh Doctrine of Passing before I got the Doctrine of Passing. Then we got Red Spectre. Alright. Stolen Will. Strike specific gun. Pretty good. Man, my voice is going to be so tired by the end of this. How I many? We got three pages. Okay, that's not that much. I guess. <laughs> Fell Winter's Lie. Oh my gosh. You guys know it. You guys hate it. <laughs> I've gotten one of these things to drop for me. One. And it was like when the screen went black after a match, this thing dropped. And I've only gotten one to drop. And thank goodness, this thing dropped with Reinforced Barrel, which is an alright perk. I think Rifle Barrel is the preferred one. But it's it's not bad. It's the, ne it's the next best thing. Reinforced Barrel, Battle Runner, and Rangefinder. And rangefinder this thing's insane it's so good this thing wrecked havoc why am i not using this bro more impact what am i what am i do i guess i can't change it in the vault this thing wrecked havoc it was super good if you guys remember um a perk that used to be on shotguns back in the day was shot package which was overpowered so overpowered that they full-on removed it from the game full-on removed it from the game and uh <laughs> um I, I'm not gonna lie, I feel kind of bad for those people, but the people with Rangefinder ended up having the next best thing. Because, like, since Shot Package was gone, Rangefinder was the perk to have on it. So I was really happy I got out with, with the. Someone just died. With Rangefinder. <laughs> Amazing gun. I feel bad for those people that got the perk replaced. Because it like, got replaced by, by, like, some random perk. Weird. Amazing gun. Jeez, that thing was so good. A lot of you guys might remember the days when it wrecked Havoc. Ace of Spades, Hunter exclusive at the time. Kvavstov. You gotta keep at least one Kvavstov. I mean, come on now. It's the freaking Kvavstov. Five lights. You guys know it. Uh, Wolf Slayer's Claw. Uh, what was this from? This was the... Uh, uh, Prison of Elders? Was it? I can't remember. Help me out with that, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> for an HC4. Uh, Luck in the Chamber. That perk is not in D2, but um, interesting gun there. Not bad. Magazine of 5. What the fuck? Is this a high impact? Problem, it doesn't say like the, the impact. You gotta look at the bars. Um, I think it's a high impact. With <laughs> Luck in the Chamber, apparently, and Sure Shot. And it's got 5 in the magazine. 5. Okay. <laughs> I'm as surprised as you guys. 
2020 AMR. I call this gun the America Sniper. The America Sniper, because AMR 7 in its red, red, white, and blue, obviously. Decent gun overall. Quick draw, hidden hand. I got a pretty good roll on this. Um, again, reinforced barrel. Short gaze, amazing roll. Archetype, not the best, but good roll. I've had some fun with it. Grim Citizen, not bad. Her Fury, pretty good. Uh, it's the Queen's, Queen's Wrath. I forgot what it was called, weapon. Glass Promontory. Um, this was the year two. Year two, yes. Sniper. It has a pretty good roll. Performance bonus, snapshot, short gaze, and ambush. Really good roll. Good archetype, too. Great gun. Really, really good gun. Respect. Respect. Um, actually, no, I think it was the, uh, the fast firing architect. That's an alright archetype. Not bad, but I prefer the slower firing ones. Dreamwalker, God Roll, Tripod, and Grenades and Horseshoes. It's just the shame. It's not like up the level, but God Roll. Super good. I'd be using it if it was 400, without a doubt. Hothead, the Forgotten Gun, the legendary uh, Dragon's Breath. Always thought it was interesting. Forgot why they added this to the game. It's got Field Scout. That's cool. Spray and play. Last resort. Alright. I mean,. Does anybody care about it anymore? No, not really. Grasp of Malak. My god roll. My god rolled Grasp of Malak. Except for the, the scope. Don't pay attention to, uh, pay attention to the scope. Uh, all the scopes are kind of not too good, but it's it's agile, modest, zoom, light, snappy. So it's all right. It worked. It worked well enough. <laughs> of course, counterbalance, braced frame, and feeding frenzy. The god roll. The, the god roll. When this thing... The, uh, what was it called? The dragon, the, the dragon pulse rifle, I'm drawing a blank. When that thing was raining havoc, this thing was also raining havoc. Uh, amazing gun, amazing gun. You guys all remember the, the, Am the Amigal? Omnigal farm. Crazy stuff, man. Um, <clears throat> Grim Citizen 2, I was already here. The Proud Spire, shotgun I never really end up using. I think it was from Moments of Triumph. Hawksaw, you guys know it, you guys love it. Great gun. Inward Lamp. I think this was the year two Trials of Osiris Scout Rifle. Never really thought it got enough love. Uh, it was part of the fast firing archetype with full auto. So it was a very bizarre, a very bizarre gun to say the least. This weapon model I don't think has ever been used since. Really weird weapon mod. I, mean, I don't think it's in D2. <coughs> Excuse me. Really weird gun. It was cool for the time though. Um, I think the, the it's almost, if you, if you want me to tell you what it feels like, it basically feels like the... The vice weapons in D2, if you want me to give you an accurate, close enough uh, description. Oh my gosh, the Imago Loop. Um, this was not my best roll, but it was a decent roll, because I got a Firefly on it. And this, again, was when, before I had the exotic roll, the exotic Fatebringer or whatever. Um, Firefly, Reinforced Barrel, Last Resort, Sure Shot. So not bad, pretty close, not bad. I never got the Outlaw. Okay, I never got the Outlaw Firefly roll, but I did get a roll, which was very good. Very, very good, and we'll get into that later in the video. I did get a roll that was very, very good. I think it was, uh, I'll get into it later, but you guys will see it. Um, which in some cases might actually be better than the Outlaw roll. In my opinion, the Outlaw roll overall is probably better, but, um... The perk I got it, I got on it. I would say it's better for bosses, and you you guys will see that later. And it does help with the reload speed. We got bad juju, a gun that was recently brought back into Destiny 2. Oh my gosh, I forgot this ornament existed. That's sick. Is it as cool as the one in D2? I don't think so, but that's that's really cool. Send it a perk that was recently removed. Not recently removed. It's not in D2. I think it, maybe it's on the thorn. I can't remember. But it was too good of a perk, so um. So they had to like nerf it and like decrease the ammo capacity. I don't know. The perk was insane. Let's just say that it was the best range perk. It was honestly broken. Um. <laughs> Next up, we have got Exile Student, a gun that I personally I've never cared about this gun. Um, I it's it's not bad. It's got Firefly and it's got Hidden Hand. And explosive rounds, so no, it's pretty good. Firefly explosive rounds, not bad overall, and it's got hammer forge. The gun is actually not bad. I personally have just never used it though, because I mean, Footbringer is probably going to be better in most situations. But no, it's a good gun. It had its time. Year three trials, hand cannon, not bad. Moving on, touch of malice. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the touch of malice. This gun. This is what the ornament looks like. This was a sick gun. 
super quirky, super weird, super it was it was weird. Let's just say that. I remember it had its time in the in the raid, put on like a bubble of light, man, in this thing. You could fire those powerful shots for like forever. It was insane. I think they ended up patching that, but it was really good. Those of you guys that guys that don't remember, it's got Eye of the Storm, Hammer Forge, and Touch of Mercy, three repic kills, return a portion of the wielder's health, and touch of malice. Final round to the magazine regenerates and deals bonus damage at the cost of <laughs> wielder's life force. So if you're down to the final round, this thing fires for forever, or at least until you die. It takes away your health and fires a powerful shot. It was really cool. And I think, fun fact, uh, lore-wise, I believe, I think this is, like, a piece of, like, Oryx's, like, soul, something weird like that, but really cool. Um, another fun fact, if you guys had this gun back in the Xbox 360 days, and I would assume PS3, don't know for sure, though, this gyro here actually didn't spin. It was stationary. Yep. Um, so, that was interesting. Great gun, though. It, well, interesting gun. Thiezen, the Thiezen FR4. This thing was awesome. If I were to compare this to a gun in D2, I would say um, the Air Intel. I, it's like the Air Intel of D1, sort of. I mean, the Air Intel of D1 is like the solid individual. But I, I, I'm talking about like Amalon fusion rifles, rangefinder, accelerated coils, which isn't generally the best perk to go with. I, I guess I just like the increased charge rate, but you really want to go for uh, more impact. Um, but it's fine. Replenish, not bad. Torch. Pretty good gun overall. Good fusion. I like fusion rifles. Ah, oh, that's what it was called. The Clever Dragon. Yes, the gun that wrecked havoc in the Crucible. This thing was dumb. And I got a really good roll on it, too. I can't remember if he sold this roll or if I got it to drop for me, but this roll was insane. Red Dot. Amazing sight. Braced frame. Braced freaking frame. Increased stability and high caliber rounds. And counterbalance. And if I was fine with stability, we also had feeding frenzy. Like, the fudge. This roll was insane, god roll, this thing wrecked havoc in Crucible like nothing else, and it eventually got nerfed, I think I had, I think they actually had to lower the fire rate of this archetype because it was so freaking good. Um, I think we're almost done with the first page, oh my gosh, this video's been going on for a long time now. Righteous V, L, L, sorry I'm not the, the most intelligible of Roman numerals, I think that means seven, righteous seven, that's my guess. Counterbalance, reinforced barrel, perfect balance. Oh, this is the uh, new monarchy gun. Man, I've been going at it for a while now. It's pretty good. Um, then we got, I really gotta start hurrying up. Zawuli's Bane, a gun that isn't that good. Rhea, the reload speed is really slow on it, but that's the Herald version, so I think it's from the harder version of the raid. Iron Reef, this was a uh, fun fact. I think this was the very first hand cannon to ever be added into the game. Not hand cannon, sidearm. Very first sidearm ever. So that's cool. Antipodal hindsight. Alright, hand cannon. Cryptic dragon. A gun that they actually brought back in the iron the third gear. I my brain's getting drained now. I'm sorry, guys. It's a pretty good scout rifle. Effort eat spear. Oh my gosh. I think I re-rolled this because I'm an idiot, unless I had a different one. Yeah, I think I'm just stupid and I re Oh, wait, no, you can't re-roll it. Re-roll this. I thought I had another one. Um, Effort Eat Spear. I thought I had a final round Effort Eat Spear. I might have a second one somewhere. If you guys don't remember, this gun, um, this was the, oh my gosh, the, the, the sniper from Iron Banner from all the way back in the day, year one. I forgot if it was Dark Below. Probably Dark Below. I can't remember for sure, though. That or, either that, <clears throat> or the Wolf whatever it's called, expansion. Oh, man, I, I'm really bad at this. All the way back in the day, I'm not using Snapshot for whatever reason. I'm weird, I guess. I haven't used this thing for a while. It's probably just been sitting in here. Um. Oh, I think field, oh, I think it's because all the way back in the day, Field Scout actually didn't increase the ammo capacity. It increased the, ma it increased the magazine size. That's what it did. Yeah, that's probably why I had that on. Um. Yeah, Uh. P what people will do, they get final round on it, and... <laughs> They'd waste their shots all the way to the final round, and they'd want run around one tapping everybody to the body It was really stupid, but that's what people did and it got to the point where Bungie had to make it So the final round perk only did the bonus damage on a precision shot Which was smart of them because people would just run around just one tapping everyone to the body. It was dumb But yeah, um, oh jeez, that's gonna be annoying. So, oh, it's gonna go back to the first page every single time Palindrome great gun word of Crota, all right gun Fang of Irute, this is from the raid. These are the newer ones, as you can tell by the light level. Um, decent gun. Another red specter for some reason. Uh, <gasps> the 
Legend of Confluence. Fun fact, uh, somewhere in this inventory is the Legendary Vision of Confluence, which was the very first, it's, oh, this is the newer one, which was the very first gun I got from the raid. I got it from Atheon, I think, in Vault of Glass. Very first raid gun I got was the Vision of Confluence. It's an amazing gun. Absolutely love it. The gun feels, it's one of the best feeling scout rifles to date, to date. Out of all of, all of the Scout Rivals, this thing feels amazing. Here's the Adept version, sexy as usual, great roll, full auto, perfect balance, zen moment, it's a great gun. I don't know what to tell you guys. Then we got another reflection sum. Oh my gosh, it went past the first page. <laughs> Swordbreaker, the year one version of this gun I actually used to get my thorn, because it was a void gun. Uh, longbow synthesis, you guys know it, you guys love it. Eyes of Luna, Abyss Defiant. Word of Crota, the newer one, The Lingering Song, Found Verdict, Oversoul Edict, Adept, the newer one, Pocket Infinity, a gun that I may end up doing a video on, not sure, this gun is freaking weird, uh, all the way back in the day, I didn't have it when it did this, I got it afterwards, but this thing used to fire for literally infinity, okay, not infinity, but for a very, very, very long time. You could just fire this thing and you'd be like, interesting. That's my that's my fusion rifle sound effect there. Uh, this thing fired forever. It was broken. It was dumb. It ended up getting nerfed. Now, um, will it ever come back? I think it'd be hilarious if it did come back, but who knows? It'd probably actually be really good for PVE. I really could see it being good for PVE. I think that'd be super cool if they brought it back, but who knows? Probably won't ever come back. I think Bungie forgot about it. Um, right hand. IX9, Red Hand 9, I think. This thing, oh my gosh, this thing's so good. I love it. This is the one you can reroll. I end up getting Steady Hand. Not sure shot on this roll, but that's fine. Uh, I think I rerolled it to get this roll. I got Icarus on it. And Rifle Barrel. This, oh, Rifle Barrel is so good. And Explosive Rounds. Hidden Hand and Flared Magwell, if you care about that kind of thing. Uh, Hidden Hand and Icarus is just overall such a well balanced uh, per. Uh, roll for pvp this gun is so good in pvp this is like the dominant hand cannon uh, archetype for pvp it's the fate bringer archetype i'm pretty sure which is still good in destiny 2 but not as good um this thing was so good uh really good gun i think this was from the year one year two of uh of uh, new monarchy can't host that remember but the older version there's actually two versions of this gun fun fact the older version actually had gray where the, the where you see this dark red here this was actually gray i wish i had the older version but i got the newer version um i honestly wish they bring back this hand cannon model i think this model is freaking awesome this gun is so good looking like changed my mind this gun is so good looking bungie please bring back this model if you bring back factions, bring back a gun that looks like this. Maybe a Red Hand 10. I know that's a stupid idea, but oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Please, Bungie. Um, next page. <laughs> Where are we? We're almost done with the second page. We're getting there. Um, Smite of Marin, really bouncy gun, but it's a good gun. Only pulse rifle with Firefly, I'm pretty sure. Black Hammer. <laughs> the year one Black Hammer. Oh my gosh, this thing. And then they nerfed freaking uh, Whisper in D2. So it doesn't have infinite ammo anymore because, I don't know, Bungie. Um, sorry, Bungie. Uh, it's got Mulligan, Snapshot, and White Nail. Fun fact. This is obviously the OG old version. I got this thing all the way back in the day. And this is when I wasn't as knowledgeable of uh, <laughs> the guns that were well broken in the game. And I got this gun and... I didn't really pay it too much mind until one day I wondered what all the hype was about and I brought it into like the the first strike like the strike of the servitor and I found out crap this thing really does have infinite ammo this thing fires for forever and you will never run out of ammo and it's a freaking legendary and then it got patched so it took from your reserves but oh my gosh this thing was so good so good then they nerfed it which it needed to be nerfed but why did they nerf the whisper I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Uh, too good, I guess. Um. Alright, let's keep going. This is going to be a really long video. I'm sorry, guys. We've been going for like 30 minutes here. Maybe less. Something like that. I'm sorry. I'll try to try to keep it going. Uh, Fatebringer. Great gun. I haven't upgraded this one because, I mean, I'm already using my upgraded one. Um, Parthian Shot. Really good. It's, this is the faster firing. 
faster firing, harder hitting archetype, slower firing archetype. So this thing fired super, super slow. Oh crap, um, I gotta be somewhere soon. Um, <clears throat> this fired really slow, but um, I think it could two tap. A lot of people liked it. Wasn't exactly my cup of tea, but a lot of people liked it. Uh, Kvavstav, super customizable, sick ornament. What did that look like? All right, cool. Good gun, I'm really glad they brought it back. Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to start hurrying up here a little bit. <laughs> Over Edict, the Saturine Rapier. An old gun, um, maybe year two, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Scout Rifle, not bad. Got a pretty good roll on this. Oh my gosh! Reactive Reload, also known as Kill Clip, and Crowd Control, also known as Rampage. Wow, that's actually a really good roll. Why haven't I not used it? Who knows? I used it a little bit, I think, obviously, because I upgraded it. Winged Word, really good gun. You actually highlighted enemies in the scope. Soros Regime, the second version of the Soros Regime. The version that was this really sick black color. Um, what did this look like? Oh, this was like the OG skin. No, never mind. It's like inverted OG. Um, anyway, th that's what it looks like up there. Super cool. I love the black design. The blue is cool, too, but the black was super awesome. I remember when they first showed it off. Really cool gun. Um... Vision of Confluence, great gun. This was the Amago Loop that I was talking about. I got this Amago Loop with Sure Shot and Hammer Forged and Will of Light, which is okay. Never mind, that's not as good as I thought. Um, I was thinking it was something else, but uh, Hammer Forged and Sure Shot and Firefly and Spray and Play, which means that if I fire this thing and I use the entire magazine, it increases the reload speed. So. I essentially, I didn't have to hit the precision shot, but um, if I emptied my entire magazine, I would still get that reload. So basically, I would use this gun, and I wouldn't reload early. I would always fire down to the last round, and I'd get that boost of reload speed. And honestly, in terms of doing damage to bosses, I think this roll is better than the Fatebringer. I genuinely think it is better than the Fatebringer. This is the closest roll I got. I love the Imago Loop. It's a great gun. Um... Have used it for a while, obviously, because they brought Fabringer back. But it's amazing. It's an amazing gun, and honestly, I, I really should take it out again. This thing is so good. Um, but yeah, uh, I think the Fabringer is more consistent because you just hit the headshot. You don't have to empty the entire mag. But in terms of dealing damage to bosses, this, in my opinion, is better. Um, love that gun. So good. That was the role I was talking about. Parthian Shot, another one, Aether Nova, pretty good fusion, Free Will, Year 3, Hand Cannon from the Iron Banner, Hopscotch Pilgrim, they end up bringing it back, this thing was insane back in the day, another Nerwin's Mercy, crap, that's a good roll, um, last page, alright, let's get it going, woo, cause I have to go soon, so, oh, fudge, that's my controller, <laughs> ooh, I can't wait to get down to these, um, Trespasser, first exotic, um, first exotic, uh, sidearm. Also, I would like to keep in mind, um, sorry, never mind. Um, Assembly 2, uh, decent gun, haven't really paid it too much attention. The is Dubardi, oh my gosh! This was my makeshift, uh, uh, this is the, this is basically the rare Doctrine of Passing. Crowd control, counterbalance. This is the rare Doctrine of Passing. You know, in my opinion, that gun's kind of like a meme. <laughs> I mean, it's, like with just to me and like my friends that know about it. It's 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 funny. I like this gun. It's a good gun. It it really is. <laughs> Finger Beer Ute, another 2020 AMR. Pretty good roll there. X Bakina. That's a really cool name. Laughing Heart, Lingering Song, The Whale, Hero Formula, Lumina D. I think this was the four burst with glass half full. That was pretty good actually. Branded Lord. Kind of like the worst salad and visual, sort of ish. Uh, Shadow Price. This gun was the super good back in vanilla. Was not around for that, but it was really good. Drex Promise. Steel Medulla. The Adept Steel Medulla. It doesn't say Adept, but that's like the newer one. So that's super cool. Forgot I had that, to be honest with you. That's a good gun. It really is. Why don't I use it more often? Seal, Zeal Vector. Atheon's Epilogue. I never got the, the Pulse Rifle from this raid, which still surprises me to this day. I don't even think I got the sniper. I don't know how. I really don't know how. It's my favorite raid. Atheon's Epilogue, super good. Aegis of the Reef, kind of forgot about it. That's a pretty good gun. Null and Beyond, we all love it. It's super awesome. Um, Party Favor. 2028, did I do it? <laughs> okay, there's another AMR for whatever reason. Zeros DIS, Blind Perdition, the year three 
Uh, pulse Rifle. Evelating Vision. Izaluna. Pretty good roll there. Decent, I'd say. Um, Outlaw. And, uh, crap. Outlaw. And Reactive Reload. That's not bad. But then Cambodian Explosive Rounds was kind of a buzzkill, but still pretty good. Um, then we got the Kokaitis. The Ill Will, which... No, not the Ill Will. I'm thinking of the Duke. They brought the Duke back. Um... First Curse, never really cared about it personally. Longbow Synthesis, this is probably my best roll. It's a good roll. Necrochasm, super fun. I actually love this gun now that they buffed it. This gun's freaking hilarious. I love this gun. Um, another Isolino. This one I think I got rifled on. Did I? Let's see. No, Hammer Forge. Super close to uh, a god roll. Uh, maybe god roll. It's very, it's a very consistent gun. I love that gun. Then we've got the newer Thorn, and then the Long Speed A. You can buy this thing right now from the robot chick next to the, in the hangar. You can still get this thing. It's actually a very good, well-rounded green auto. Highly recommend. <laughs> the Hard Luck MK52. I love this thing. This thing is my pride and my joy. And as you can tell, this thing was the Ace of Spades. I'm sorry if I'm uh, if I'm loud. This thing was the Ace of Spades before the Ace of Spades was ever a thing. I'm pretty sure that this gun came out before the Ace of Spades. I'm pretty sure. Maybe, maybe not, but this is literally the rare Ace of Spades. I mean, look at it. It's the Ace of Spades. Look, 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 look at this gun. Look at it. It's a black and gold Ace of Spades. It's freaking beautiful. It's a rare, and it's got Feeding Frenzy explosive rounds. Like, I love this gun. And sure shot. Like, this gun is so good. For a rare, like, I always go into it because I don't think there's a lot of people who have it. And I feel like there's a lot of people who don't know about it. And when they see it for the first time, they're like, crap, that's the freaking Ace of, Ace of Spades. But it's a rare. I love this gun. It's so good. So, I love it. It's a great gun. It's the freaking Ace of Spades. Um, yeah. Love it. Marked with spades, turned, tuned for a fight, ready to end any uncomfortable disputes. Such a good gun. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So here on our Titan, let's uh, let's get to these quickly because I actually have somewhere to be really soon. The party favor. It's a really good gun. Eyes Luna. Um, all right, roll. I guess. Then got it with rifled barrel and reactive reload. So that's pretty good. Genesis chain, firefly on a freaking auto rifle, and um. The, the perk that does more damage. This was actually a really sick gun. Doctrine of Passing. Chaos Dogma. Love this gun. This thing was actually really good for dealing damage to bosses. Then we've also got the Mita Multi-Tool. Hung Jury. Great gun. Hard Light. <laughs> yes. And the Ill Will. Then we've got the X Asterisk. The Laughing Heart. The Black Spindle. You guys know it. The Branded Lord. Thousand Yard Stare. Good gun. Event Horizon, Praetorium Foil, I gotta jump into a story, I think, did I talk, did I forget to talk about this on my Hunter, I don't know if I glazed over it, so basically somewhere in my inventory, um, it might be on my Hunter or one of the other characters or in the vault, I might have accidentally passed over it, I, this is the, the year 3 version of Praetorium Foil, I actually have the OG original Praetorium Foil, and fun story about this, I was doing the raid all the way back in the day, all the way back in the day. <clears throat> this was before, I, I mean, I knew any better. I remember my friends were actually talking about this gun, and they were talking about how rare, and, you know, how insanely rare this gun was. And again, I have the OG original version, this is the newer version, but um, they're talking about how rare this gun was. And they talked about, like, how somebody literally made a parody about how rare this gun was. And during that entire time, it was during the oracles. We beat the oracles, and this gun dropped for me. Um, and again, I the OG version of it is somewhere. Uh, love this gun. It's my pride and joy. It dropped me, and I didn't really show a reaction because um, I didn't know how rare it really was. I didn't really show a reaction because I didn't know how insanely rare this gun was. And it dropped for me, and I was like, and then they realized they're like, I don't remember exactly, but they realized it dropped for me, and they're like what like i forgot exactly what the reactions were and I, I was just like yo no way like this thing's really that rare and i had i didn't know any better so it's a great gun party crasher great gun queen's breakers bow great gun silver dread great gun hunger coda great gun galahorn it's galahorn titanium orchid raised lighter great gun steel oracle z good gun i think Zombie Apocalypse, a gun they brought back from year one, pretty good gun, and the Song of Ear Youth. Now, let's head on to the Warlock. 
Alright guys, you probably noticed I've been gradually starting to talk a little bit faster and faster as this video has been going on because I really have somewhere to be here really soon. So, let's get uh, finished with this last character and get on the road. Oh my gosh, it's the LDR! I think I had an old L uh, OG LDR, I think, if I remember correctly. I dismantled it because I'm dumb. Um, Isaluna, great gun. Hackon's Hatchet, interesting gun. Trezbon Star is the one strike exclusive, super cool. Parthian Shot, Angel's Advocate, good gun. Vex Middle Class, I pressed the B button. I love this gun so much. Oh my gosh. Bungie, please bring this gun back. Please. I didn't get this gun until year two. And I thought I didn't get it. And I went back and it was in my Postmaster. And I freaked out. And I was so happy. The ornament on it is so cool, but I don't have it. Oh my gosh, Bungie, bring this back. This thing was insane. Last word, so good. Paladrome, good. Blind Perdition, good. LDR, 5001. Oh my gosh, we got the God Roll, boys. Okay, maybe not the God Roll. It doesn't have Snapshot or Quick Draw, but it's almost the God Roll. Short Case, Eye of the Storm, Perfect Balance, Hidden Hand. You know it. You love it. It's the LDR. Then we got Ash Raven's Flight, Each New Day, Good Gun, The Vacancy, Ex Machina, Matador 64. I thought that was a different gun. That's why I said it that way. Chaperone, a gun that I never really used back in D1, but love now in D2, Icebreaker, Wormwood, Tormodes, Bellodes, Silver Dread, Brett Tomart, Stan, Truth, Steel Oracle, Super Good Advice, Undealing Dulge, Arc Edge, and Warpath. That is everything! I hope I didn't forget anything in the vault because I don't remember going over the first version of the Praetorian's Foil. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. There you guys have it, that is everything! Um, I think I have some cool stuff in there. Some of that stuff's kind of basic, but I just thought, you know, why not go over everything? This is, got, I think this is my longest video today. This video's been going on for forever now. I'm going to be late. What I'm going to be going to, I am sorry about that. So I'm in a bit of a rush, but there you guys have it. That is, uh, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while now. That is my Destiny 1 Vault Tour inventory tour whatever you guys want to call it so <clears throat> with that said hope you guys have an amazing day i hope you guys enjoyed the video i would love to continue doing destiny one videos for you guys and um have a great day remember to stay as positive as possible now i'll see you guys in the next video